Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Adobe Nolly coming to you live from the city of Abuja. Kindly like, comment, subscribe and click the bell button down below and also share with everybody around you. How are we all doing? How is the corona treating us? How is our self-isolation going? I hope we're all doing good. We just pray that this comes to an end very soon. Welcome once again to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be reacting to something, something, I'm sure you must have seen it already. I'll be reacting to the assumptions of people about the evils. <clears throat> like, yes, I'm an evil girl and I'm Berian for that matter. So you should know where I'm coming from, you get. So the first assumption, and first and foremost, I don't know where these assumptions come from, but we shall react to it. If there are other assumptions you've heard about and I did not mention, then you can leave it in the comment section below and we would react to it. So the first on my list is Igbo love money and they will do anything for money. First and foremost, who don't like money or who does not love money? If I will ask, please, if you don't like money, if you don't love money, please can you raise off your hand? Let me check something first. If you say you don't love money, I want to just check something. Yes, we love money. Everybody loves money. Yes. But when you say do anything to get money, I'm, I think where people are getting it wrong is that people think we can do anything, even illegal. But that's not true. We do legal things to get money. An Igbo person does not mind going to heaven. As far as he's very sure that when he gets to heaven, he's going to make money. He will go to heaven, even if it means he has to be awake all through to get to heaven and get it. He doesn't mind going to hell as well to get money as far as it's legal. You get so we do legal things, we do legit things. I we clear here. We do when you say do anything, we do anything that is legal, more like we can do like five jobs. Yes, that is an evil person for you. So when you say we like money, who does not like money? If you don't like money, as I said. Please raise up your hand and let's see. So that assumption is kind of correct, but the perspective people are coming from, like if people, people think that anything is illegal, is wrong. Yeah, we take risk. Like Igbo people, we take risk. When it comes to risk, we are there. Give it to us. Yes, we take enough risk. And that is why we get our money. The second assumption about the Igbos is that we are deep into money rituals. Especially people from Anambra states. Like, why? See, I know where if we got this from. If we got this from Nollywood, there is nothing you will tell me that will make me believe that you did not get this thing from Nollywood. Nollywood people have just scattered evil people. It's not true. We don't do money rich. I'm not saying people don't do it. People do it, but most, see, like 90% of evils don't do money rituals. So that is not true. We are not deep into money rituals. And Anambra people, please. Please, please, when you say especially a number of people, that's not true. We work hard for our money. We work legitimately hard to get our money. So no, we are not deep into money rituals. The third assumption is that Igbo people don't like education, school, rather like business. See, this thing is, two, is a two-way thing. We like education. Ah, should I start listing how many graduates that we have that are doing excellently well? Should I start listing them? Go to Aria Aria market, go to Onicha main market, go to, should go to all these main markets. you see Igbos there. Good. But go and check. Most of them have their university certificates. That is just the Igbos for you. We will go to your school though. We will go to school. But at the end of the day, when people are not giving us jobs, we won't, you don't expect us to just slide or sit down, not doing anything. We go into business. That is why I said we are hardworking. So that misconception of, misconception of, we don't like education is wrong. We like education, but in a situation where we can't practice what we studied, we fall. We 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 go to plan B. More like it. We don't. Uh, you not see us begging for food now. You know. So we like education as well. You all know that. So let's start counting them. See Dora Queen, late Dora Queen. See Okonjo Iwela. Ah, see Soludo. Uh, see me too now. Uh, uh. See me, see me, see me. We like education. We like it. We love education. But business, yes, we we'll still do business too. To support, we like, we, we, short, we love good life. I think that is just the main thing. We just love good life. We don't like to beg. Uh, yes, that's the evils for you. Thank you. The fourth assumption is that evils are stingy. Who said this? Come closer. Just come closer and tell me who said this. Eh? Like, where did you get this from? We are not stingy people. Let me just make this very clear. See, if you know the olden day setting of Igbo land, see, an Igbo 
father okay let's say the father will actually sacrifice everything he has so that his children will go to school even when the children go to school let's say the first one goes to school you find out that the first one will graduate and now try to educate his younger ones and you're saying that we're stingy how bad don't say that kind of thing or is it the evils again that would bring their um, loved ones from the village to come and do business at the end of the day they will settle them and you're saying you're stingy we are not stingy we help ourselves and that is why we keep growing how many people how many people will you see begging on the streets of Igbo land very few of us that's because we love to help ourselves so we are not stingy that assumption is wrong we are not stingy i'm not trying to say that you will not find some stingy people but majority of us aren't stingy yeah the fifth assumption which is similar to being stingy um evils do not like to help themselves i don't think so as i said before we love to help ourselves but you know where these people are coming from in terms of this we don't like to help ourselves you go to an office and then you see let's say the evil person is um is let's say is the ceo of that company and you now go in and you now start speaking oh um good evening sir afambu uh, you now find out that that ceo or that whoever is in charge will now want to like this is an office space. Can you speak English? And we will not want to help the evil person. We rather want to help someone from another tribe. I understand where people are coming from from this aspect. But as I said before, it's very few people that will do this. Yes. I know, yeah, the Yorubas, maybe you just enter and start speaking Yoruba. Everything are uh, case closed. But the evil is the other way around. But you know what? Yes, there are people that do like that. But majority of us will still help our evil brothers and sisters in a position if we're in a position to help yeah very few people that would like that so you cannot use one or two people to assume that all of us are like that yeah and please if you're an evil person come closer come closer when you see your evil brother or your evil sister help them mm? help them don't be doing anyhow yes that is why we are brothers and that is why we are sisters that is help them if they are qualified for that though. But if they are not qualified, no wala. I agree with any any decision you make, I agree. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. The sixth assumption is that Ungwa people. <laughs> if you're from Ungwa, please I'm sorry, but I just saw it. Ungwa people love to eat human beings, especially if you're a stranger. Excuse me. That was long time ago. It doesn't happen now again. Yes, we are all children of God. Jesus came, he died for us, and all of that. So old things have passed away, and new things have become new. So, that was a long time ago. Ungwa people do not eat human beings again. So, as strangers, it's not true that if you go there, you'll be eating. I've been to Ungwa. I remember, that was some so many years ago. I was actually scared of that uh ungwa 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 people this one down but they are very welcoming people i enjoyed my stay in ungwa so if you're from ungwa shout out to you yep the seventh assumption is that mbc people are wicked are dangerous and they are not good partners <clears throat> mbc people please come and fight this fight yourself i don't even know what to say about it but all i can say is it's not true. I have too many MBC friends, male and female, and they're very lovely people. So that misconception is not true. Please, if you're dating someone from MBC, go ahead and marry them. Yes, your family will fight and fight and fight. So what our advice is that if you know your family is that kind of family that will not want you to marry from MBC, eh? please, it's better you just stay away from starting that relationship before you start it and now fall in love and... Uh, when you're falling in love, to stand up in love now will be a problem. So you know your family and you know what's up. But MBC people are not wicked, they are not dangerous, they are very good people. As I always say, every tribe, every tribe have the good, the bad and the ugly. So there are definitely some ugly people, there's definitely some bad people, there are definitely some good people, there are definitely some best people again in MBC. So don't use the ugly people to judge or to give um your judgment on all we say people the eighth assumption is <coughs> evils don't like to marry out especially an umbra ladies <clears throat> you know eh it is kind of true that the anambra ladies don't like to marry out 
but there are still so many others that have married out so i think the most important thing is if they are in love if they found um, a partner they are willing to settle with i don't think where they are from will be a problem so if you want to date someone that's from Igbo and you're from another tribe i think the best thing you have to do is just try and win the person's love both male and female is is a two-way thing try and win the person's love be loyal to the person be committed to the person be truthful to the person and you would find out that the person will marry you be like you be from anywhere of the world yes we will still marry you that is if you show us that your words breaking our rule mm -hmm. like that thank you the ninth misconception or assumption is that Igbo girls do not like to marry early and their bride prices are so expensive especially if she's the first girl or if she's an only girl come where do people get this thing from do you realize that the bride price of Igbo women in some villages are like 50 naira yes you heard me right 50 naira 50 50 50 50 50 naira yes some people 250 so why are you now telling me that the bride price is expensive or the able girls don't like to marry early and then they now say oh if she now goes to school <laughs> it's a problem so we should not go to school again because because um you want to marry us so that your bride price uh, will be less as i've said before bride price is 50 naira 250. i don't think there's any bride price in Ebola land that is up to 1000. please if there is Leave it in the comment section but i doubt but maybe there is i'm not sure but i doubt really so whether she goes to school whether she's a graduate masters phd i've seen so many men you sure those men i'm sorry for you you now think okay oh she has a phd she's a doctor and all of that ah her bright price will be expensive her family will give me problem and that is why you're not going to marry her are you okay if you really love her you know what you want go ahead and marry her Bride prices are not expensive. As far as she loves you, the family loves you, you are as good as gone. My final assumption, or the final assumption I have on this list is, wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me, let me clear my head well, like, my head is swelling for this one. Igbo women can cook. Like, see, 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 when it comes to cooking, please give us A1. Like, when it comes to cooking, it's your A0 self. We know how to cook. Like, we can cook. We are bad like that. Like, we can't... See, we will cook for you. When we cook for you, you will just be... Even in your dream self, you might be eating our food. So that one, very true. No, evil women, evil women, I give it to them any day, any time. Ah. Yes, 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 yes. That assumption, I like. I like and it's very correct. Yes, we can cook. Please. Please, can you find us? Hmm? Can you give us some... We are good like that. So, if you want some good delicacies, and we have so many delicacies, that is even the one that is blowing my mind. Like, we have, should I start counting them? Should, there's no time for that. We have so many delicacies, and that's where we can cook. Both our delicacies, other traditional delicacies, other tribal traditional delicacies, we can cook it. See, don't worry, don't worry. If you are not a friend to an evil girl, hmm? or if you're not considering marrying an evil girl, I think you're making some kind of mistake because you know the way to a man's heart is true eh? be stunning so get you an evil girl get you an evil friend and your life will not remain the same thank you once again for watching my video if there are other assumptions <laughs> that I did not mention please leave it in the comment section below and I will look at it and I will react to it as well See you in my next video. And please, on a serious note now, serious note, please, can we all be safe? Can we stay indoors? If we have nothing doing outside, just remain in your house. If you don't know what to do in your house, sleep. If you don't know how to sleep, or your sleep is not worrying you, go and declutter your closet. If it's not, if it's not enough, watch all my videos. Yes. And as you're watching, hope you've subscribed. Have you? I you subscribe, I'm waiting. If you finish watching my videos and you don't know what to do, chat me up. I love to chat. I make good. See, when it comes to chatting, I have time for chatting. I will chat with you. So see you in my next video. Have yourself a lovely day and be safe. Go and wash your hand. Have you washed your hand? I'm going to wash my hand right now. Bye.